exoplanets, or extrasolar planets, are any planets found beyond the solar system. For the past few years, astronomers have been hunting for exoplanets through different techniques. So, how can we find them? Let's find out. Gravitational Microlensing Method Gravitational microlensing is one of the more commonly used methods for indirectly detecting exoplanets. A microlensing exoplanet is a planet that orbits a star other than our Sun and is detectable due to the effects of its planetary system's gravitational field on the passing light of a distant background star. Microlensing is the only known method for discovering planets that are truly far away from Earth. Whereas radial velocity searches look for planets in our immediate galactic neighborhood, up to 100 light years away, and transit photometry can potentially detect planets hundreds of light years away, microlensing can find planets orbiting stars near the galaxy's center, thousands of light years away. This method, in essence, uses the gravitational force of distant objects to bend and focus light from a star. When a planet passes in front of the star, with respect to the observer, or, in other words, makes a transit, the light dips measurably, which can then be used to determine the presence of a planet. Einstein's general theory of relativity predicted the astronomical effect of microlensing. When light from a star passes very close to another star on its way to an observer on Earth, the gravity of the intermediary star slightly bends the light rays from the source star, causing the two stars to appear farther apart than they normally would. If a planet is close enough to the lensing star that it crosses one of the two light streams emanating from the source star, the planet's gravity bends the light stream and produces a third image of the source star for a brief period of time. When measured from Earth, this effect appears as a brief burst of brightness that lasts several hours to several days and is superimposed on the regular pattern of the microlensing event. Such spikes are telltale signs of the presence of a planet for planet hunters. Furthermore, the precise characteristics of the microlensing light curve, such as its intensity and length, reveal a great deal about the planet itself to scientists. The microlensing events can be used to calculate exoplanets' total mass, orbit, and period with high accuracy and reliability. Microlensing can detect the most distant and smallest planets of any method currently available for detecting extrasolar planets. Microlensing is most sensitive to planets that orbit at moderate to large distances from their star. Microlensing searches, like transit photometry, are massive, targeting tens of thousands of planets at the same time. Microlensing surveys, due to their sensitivity to low-mass planets orbiting at relatively large distances from their stars, can yield discoveries of Earth-sized and smaller worlds orbiting at Earth-like distances from Sun-like and larger stars. Planets detected by microlensing will never be observed again, unlike planets detected by other methods, which are associated with specific stars and can be observed repeatedly. This is due to the fact that microlensing events are unique and do not repeat themselves. Another issue with microlensing is that the detected planet's distance from Earth can only be approximated. This could result in thousands of light-year errors when dealing with planets tens of thousands of light-years away. Microlensing is reliant on infrequent and random events. As seen from Earth, the passage of one star precisely in front of another, with a planet orbiting the lensing star positioned relatively close by, is pretty rare. Thank you for watching, and please, subscribe to the channel.